Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I will discuss the Quality Wings Avro engine start sequence. The first engine I'll begin with, I'll go through the start sequence in details, then I will jump to the after complete engine's start to show you the actions to take after to complete the start procedure. Let's see now how to start the engines. In this demonstration, I'll be using the APU for engine's start and before we initiate the start, we go to the bleed air and air conditioning panel and check that both packs and APU air switches are selected off. Now I go to the lights and notices panel and select the beacon on. On the fuel panel, I'll turn on the AC fuel pumps. On the electrical panel, I will check that only the APU generator is connected to the electrical system and all the remaining AC sources are selected off. Ground ignition will be alternated from system B to system A. Thrust levers are checked for fuel off detent. Park brake is set. Engine and the eyes are selected on. Start master switch select on. Start power on and non seeder light up. Confirming that our DC start bus is being energized. Now the start rotary selector is used to tell FADEC which engine we want to start. So we have to decide first which engine we want to engage the start switch. For instance, I'm gonna start the engine number one. So start select to number one. Engine start switch select start. Starter operating and engine ignition A on lights come on. Confirming that both the starter motor and the ignition are signaled to operate. Now we need to monitor our engine instruments starting with the N2. When N2 reaches 10%, we introduce the fuel to the engine by moving the thrust lever number one to fuel on detent. To do so, we need to right click on the thrust trigger switch, fuel on. The N2 is accelerating toward 20% at which the fuel ignition take place and this is confirmed by KGS being replaced by fuel flow and EGT rising. Movement in N1 checked. Oil pressure showing a rise into the green range. At 40% N2, both ignition and starter motor are checked off. Finally, we look at the engine indications to check if they're stabilized at idle. This completes the first engine start sequence. Now we can proceed with the next engine start by following the same procedure. Let's now see the procedure we follow to complete the full engine start procedure. Now, as you can see here, all engines are started and stabilized. Now we go back to our engines panel and we set start select to off. Start master goes off. And finally, we turn off the engines anti-ice switches. And this complete the quality wings Avro engines start procedure. And see you in the next tutorial. 